Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to Korok Forest, and we found the Master Sword, but we're not strong enough yet to pull it from where it is. Gold hearts also don't uh, help at all, so don't even worry about getting gold hearts to try and have enough health to do it. Mipha's Grace does not heal you, and I don't think fairies do either, so... Anyway, we've also found Hesto over here. I must dance! Shakal Shalaka! It's you! We meet again! What's with the silent treatment? Don't you remember me? I'm the musician of Korok Forest. Hestu. I'm impressed you fought, you found your way through the forest, lost woods, and made it here. So have you brought me any Korok seeds? I sure hope so. If you'll return my lost Korok seeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Which stash do you want me to want another slot in? So, let's get some of this done. Also, we only need 400 and 441 total Korok seeds to get all the expansion out. But there's also a lot more than that, so we should be alright just getting all of this. And of course, it keeps increasing each stash's requirement, so let's go shield. Four Korok seeds. What is this? Very nice. And I probably don't, don't want to expand this too much. But I'll definitely do a fair bit with what I've got, I suppose. Our slots fill up just so fast that we can't really get rid of them. Or we'll get rid of the stuff in them quickly. We've been alright, actually, up to this point with um, not having to throw out weapons too much, but we did have one shrine where we had to throw out a few things, and I was panicking. Just a little bit. Almost a full two rows of bows, except we also have to go collect bows to actually fill it up. Do a shield stash again. And I think I might spend my last few Koroks that I, Korok seeds that I have on a bow stash, which is going to leave me with one Korok seed. So there we go. Our arrows or a bow and shields are, are even at the moment. So, and our sword or weapon stash is doing. How is our weapon stash doing? I need to verify. But that's actually pretty good as well, so. But for now, I think, let's go do this shrine now. Fateful stars. Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. So, we have all of these holes for orbs on both sides. We have two orbs on both sides, so we have four orbs total. And yeah, we have all of these constellation things to deal with over here. So we can see them all over there. But also, there are constellations over here, I suppose, in line with the holes for the orbs to go into. So. With that, it's not all of it done though, because there's also the torches on the side, or the lights, that have increasing numbers from top to bottom. So, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And so, with all that information, we can now work out what we need to do. So, first off, looking at this three point constellation, let's go over here and have a look at how many there are. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, I think. There's one there. One there, one there. One there and one there. So, since there are five, let's pick up one of these orbs and put it in slot number five in line with the same uh, constellation. Next up we have this 3.1 three and then this 4.1 I think. Yeah. So let's see. How many do we have of that? It looks like there's two I think. Because I think that one, that's one I think and that one. But I don't, no that's the third one. Okay, so there's three of that one. So, in accordance with all that, let's put this one in slot three. Now let's look at the other side. We have this big messy one, which is fairly, fairly easy to tell what it is like. Looks like there's one there. And there's just one there. Cool. That makes that easy. Let's put an orb in slot number one for that. And the last um, constellation is a big long one. So, from here we can see, I think two, there's one there and one there. So it's just two, cool. Let's go put this orb in slot number two in line with this same constellation. And for all that being in line, it opens up the door. I think I had a lot of trouble figuring this out my first time, which is probably why I remember it so well. But anyway, there's probably also a chest in here. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell me. I... It ends right there. Okay, so we have the same constellations again, but in different numbers now. So let's start off with the 3.1. Seems to be four of those. So let's go get all four of those marked down. I don't remember actually getting this before, so I'm very concerned. It's only one point difference here. And I think I also noticed that there's only one of the long ones. So let's go get that as well, which makes it just easier to figure out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what's left. Okay, so, there are two of the jumbly ones, and two of the other one. So it's two and two. So let's go ahead and do that. Should be fairly simple. And I'm pretty sure the other one's already in slot two, isn't it? No, it's in slot one, okay. Big jumbly one's the one in the center. Or in the center and as opposed to being on the outside that is and for doing that it opens up down there so we can get that chest so let's go get it Knights Claymore only the most confident of Hyrule Castle's Knights carried this two-handed sword his cutting edge is finely honed. Well, that's good. So let's uh, drop it on the ground. Just because I want to take a picture of it. There we go. And that should be all the chests in this shrine. So let's go. So, now that that's done, I have to figure out what I want to do. I could get more stamina so I don't have to stop running as often. Or, I could get another heart container, which is I don't think is enough for the, um, the actual uh, Mars sword. But it might be good because I'm taking a lot of hits. So let's do that. 
and it will slowly help us get towards the amount of hearts we need. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Okay. Let's start having a look at some quests. It's, 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 it's Mr. Hero. Yay! Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? I was dead. Peaks uh, thought of the trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful, so I want to see a bloopy. It's a blue glowy hoppy thing that glows in the dark, just about uh, peak size. I just really want to see a bloopy, even if it's just a picture of one. I'll help you out. I knew you were a nice guy, Mr. Hero. Thanks for listening to Peak's request. So, I don't know where they live, but I heard they are little blue glowing critters hopping around Hyrule. <laughs> Apparently they're called bloopies. I wonder how glowy they are. Aren't you curious? If you show me a bloopy, I'll be sure to thank you with a gift. Good luck. Legendary Rabbit Trial. So, let's have a look at doing that. And I think the way I'm going to do this is by going all the way back to Kakariko. Because up here is about... Oh my goodness, there's a blood moon. This is about... Oh, there it is. This is about the spot where I normally see them. So this seems like a good idea. So let's bring out our camera. Zoom in a whole, lot, a whole lot. And we get the blue P icon. Sure we can do that. And now that we're actually seeing it, let's get out our bow. And if we shoot it, it drops a few rupees. Which is cool. And by a few, I mean a fair bit. Because there's a red rupee and a purple rupee as well. Red Rupee, 20 Rupees, it's red luster, tickles your heartstrings. So let's grab all that, and there we go. And I can't believe there's another Blood Moon already. Ah, oh, but that's normal. You will see a lot of Blood Moons. They will never end. It gets a little bit repetitive, if you did not know. Already. Okay, well, let's go return with this picture to, what's it called? It said its name several times and I forgot already. That's how good my memory is. Peaks. Alright, Mr. Hero, did you bring it for me? I did. Look at it. It's glowing. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Is that a real bloopy? Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thanks so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Get a silver rupee. So we got quite a lot of rupees from just this one quest. Oh yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you should shoot an arrow at a bloopy, like I showed. I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. There we go. Quest complete. Also, I don't think I've mentioned already, but if we go up here... A little bit more. We have a little platform here. And it allows us to talk to the Great Deku Tree. Oh, it is called the Great Deku Tree. If you hope to extract the sword, you will need to summon a hero's strength. Let us see how brightly your life force burns. Okay, sir. My life force is on fire. Somebody put it out. Help. It burns. And here's the blood moon again. Yay. You're probably just going to want to skip that. Also, this seems like a good place to have it happen because there's silent princesses here. Which are going to respawn. Ah, uh, the Blood Moon. I can't even see it that well from here. Oh, there's a little area for it to be seen, somewhat. 
Hello. Just gonna skip that. That's what you want to do from now on. It's just not worth seeing the same cutscene over and over and over. The first two times is alright because the first time it's even it's different because the second one is just the second one is shorter, but it's just yeah, it's the same thing. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these Koroks and side quests. Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But you, but to be sure, you're up to the task at hand. I prepared a trial for you. What'd you think? Will you accept my trial? I'll do it. Hooray! Shoot me, show me a red, a rod with the power of ice, please. You can wave this rod to freeze monsters in their tracks. Ice wizard robes love to wreak havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with the power of ice, he would even be even stronger and cooler, literally. So anyway, we need to find a freezing rod, which we've not even seen before. We have to find a, a, a what's it called? An ice wizard robe, which we haven't seen. But I think I know where I can find one. So let's go over to the shrine. Actually, let's go to the tower. Because that means I can just glide to where I need to be, probably. Hopefully. I don't know. Okay, we're here. Also, I'm gonna ch quickly check if my theory is correct. Because that would be good to be correct and not just be lying to everyone. Let's climb up here. And there should be a Royal Claymore. Look at that! Another one! I'll add it to my pile. Anyway, I wanna go over here, I think, somewhere. So let's go. Hopefully I don't die from falling into something. There's a lot of stuff down there. I don't know what that is down there, but there's stuff down there. You're very close to Hyrule Castle as well, somewhat. Also, I think if I turn my Sheikah sensor onto shrines, I think there's actually a shrine nearby here that I haven't actually seen, possibly. But I'll find out once I get closer to the ground. You can see these little round, like, hollowed out tree stumps or something like that. That's where we want to go to for finding these, or this. Yep, there's a shrine nearby. Okay. Somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Simply heading right to where we need to go. We need to find this ice wizard robe around here somewhere. So let's just keep going forward because apparently this is where the shrine is somewhere. I feel like it's not right this way, but okay. It could be actually inside one of the stumps and I just didn't realize it. That'd be funny. But it'll be great multitasking. Unintentional, but still good. So, let's go up here and figure out where these things are. I think they're like right over here. Yeah. Oh, there is just a shrine here. Cool, I can also see that one over there, which I think I've already marked on my map. Probably. Yes, I have. It's right next to where that marker is. So I'm going to delete that stamp and just leave that there as that since that's more accurate but anyway let's go ahead and activate this shrine since we found it and probably have a look at it i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it though it could be more difficult since it's close to the center of the map although i don't know if that means anything To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Namaka Oz. In the name of the goddess Halia, I offer you this combat trial. A modest test of strength. So I can probably do this. It's not going to be as strong as some things. We have two, two royal claymores. 
I'm gonna obliterate this thing so much. It probably doesn't matter what shield I use. Arrows, I guess I can have that ready. Just in case. Royal Claymore, yep. And armor, I guess I'll set it to the best. Oh, that's also just that. Okay. Let's go have a look at it. We've already seen one of these before. Luckily, it's the same difficulty, I think. Possibly. Although, it might be slightly more. I think last time we did minor. This is modest, so it's a little bit stronger. But that's okay. We're a little bit stronger now. Okay, he's doing that thing. Which would be good to actually dodge from. Oh, careful. Oh, ow. Oh, and he's going to dash towards me now. So let's get ready. Also, I'm going to take a picture of you because you're a Guardian Scout 3. There we go. Backflip. Yep, nice. And let's slash you a few times with this Royal Claymore. Considering I'm using a Royal Claymore, he's not taking a lot of attacks and hits. Hey, I want to fight this side. No, I want to fight the other side. Oh, he's going to dash. Let's get behind a Brock. Okay. Let's do a whole bunch of this. Oh, he's gone. Oh, what's he doing? Is he going into panic mode? No, he's doing that. Oh my goodness. Ow. That move seems to get me every single time. At least I can do this and then... And then... Something like that. Oh, dodge. Nope. You gonna hit me? No, oh, he is gonna hit me. Just as I'm trying to hit him. Okay, he's low on health. This is the panic mode that I was trying to talk about earlier. So what happens is they back up. And they start preparing their charge of their laser. Which, this is going to end badly. I know it is. Nope, okay. I'm dead. So yeah, that's their panic mode, I guess. I was hoping to be able to shoot him, shoot his laser back at him, but I didn't expect him to shoot a second beam. Anyway, let's actually, actually f finish this now. I'll have to reset everything, really. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. That's actually better than that. What's... I think this is just... Okay, that's the best. Okay. Uh, shields, probably doesn't matter, maybe. Guardian shields. Alright. It says it can deflect a Guardian Scout's beam. So I might actually see if that does exactly what I think it does. Because we can try to deflect it, like, by waving our shield at it, I guess. But I think with certain shields, like possibly this shield, it can auto-deflect it back. So I'm gonna see if I, it does for at least this Guardian. I don't know if it's gonna work on a stronger Guardian. Probably just Guardian Scouts. Fly Rush. Thank you. Hit you a bunch. Oh, I also have to take a picture of you again because, uh... I died, so it reset the room. Ow. Let's go over here, please. Thank you. And let's hit this a whole bunch. Nice. That was really good. Oh, and he's doing that now. Back up, back up. Oh my goodness. That's painful. Just in the way it's designed, it's painful. Not the actual... The way it, the thing it's doing is fine. Well, so I'm pretty sure if I shoot you in the eye... Maybe? Or not. That's also true. Also possible. Are you doing your panic thing? No, you're doing that. Oh wow, that worked. Okay, well, while we're doing this, this is a good opportunity to just shoot him with arrows. Ow, ow. 
That did not work, go the way I was hoping. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness. Really? You're gonna just do this to me? Oh, here we go. Let me, I wanna, I really, I, this is probably gonna kill me. But I really wanna see if this shield does what I hope it does. I'm not gonna press any buttons, I'm just gonna hold down the shield. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. Shield broke! Okay, so that's what happens when that shield breaks. Ah, I thought it was gonna deflect it. Did It said it was gonna deflect it. I guess maybe I don't know. I don't know. That's annoying. Uh helmet, that's it. That's the only thing I need. That's really annoying. Let's quit that. I think that's everything good. I'm just gonna destroy it if I can, as quickly as possible. I have good stuff, so I can do it. I know this is a a friendly guardian, technically, but it's here for a challenge, so... Please actually hit him. Please actually hit him. Also, I think... This is actually doing a ton of damage to him. Which is annoying. Oh, I also need to take a picture of you, thank you. Just gonna hide back here. No, he's just over there. Good. Oh, he's doing it again, or is he doing that? He's doing that, okay. Well, while he's doing that, I guess I can just get out my arrows and start... My regular arrows, please, thank you. Just start shooting him in the face. I wonder what happens if I try throwing a bomb at him like this. Ah! Oh, that's what happens. Ow. Ow. Just gonna... Do that, and then run, probably. No, I can just hit him to death. He's done. Well, there we go. And now let's take a look at the stuff he dropped. Because this is different stuff. Guardian Spear Plus. Basically just a stronger version of the Guardian Spear. And an Ancient Battle Axe Plus. Which I don't know if we've even seen an Ancient Battle Axe. The tip of this Guardian Spear has been enlarged, enlarged and strengthened. It's a bit shorter than your average spear, but perhaps to facilitate use in, in tight, tight spaces. This ancient Balax's damage output has been increased to maximum. It's sharp enough to cut through almost anything, so it may even be used to forge new routes. Okay, well... With that, I might actually get rid of a few things. Get rid of my giant boomerang. Which apparently can actually work like a proper boomerang. boomerang. And let's also get rid of my silver long short sword. This stuff is just good, so... Why not take it? I think this is a shrine from Central Hyrule. So I'm going to mark that off as Central Hyrule. A Frost Spear, a magical spear forged from ancient ice taken from the Hebra Mountains. Attack when the blade glows blue to chill the air and freeze your foe. This is kind of like the uh, Fire Sword or Flame Blade. Uh, but it's ice, so... Very different. Very, very, very different. Let me get rid of my torch, I guess. I'm probably going to switch to the uh, Forest Dweller's Spear. Just for now. I'm gonna drop. No, I can't drop from that? Okay. I need to take a picture of it in its, all its glory. It ch charges the same way and everything, so... Why is it still sliding? Oh, because it's ice. That makes sense. 
cool picture. Anyway, let's take that and let's finish up. But anyway, that's it for this episode of Legends of Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.